If you're looking for a way to add custom image uploads and live image previews to products in WooCommerce, then I have a quick and easy solution for you. Many online stores offer personalized products for their customers. Some examples include t-shirt shops that allow you to upload your own designs or jewelry stores that let you customize engravings. And of course, there's photography sites where you can print your own photos on canvases, mugs, and more. The problem is that WooCommerce on its own doesn't allow customers to upload or preview their images on your products. But with just a few plugins, you can easily add this functionality. I'll show you an example of this now. So imagine that you sell custom printed hoodies like this one. The plugins that I'm using today can add these user-friendly upload boxes. Customers can add their own image, and then customize and preview how it will look when printed on the product. They can upload multiple pictures, logos, or whatever they want, and add them to these predefined printable areas on your product images. This will show you what the customer wants to have printed while also giving them a preview of what they're ordering before they purchase it. This is all made possible with our WooCommerce product options plugin along with an add-on called WooCommerce Live Preview. You can purchase the two plugins together as a bundle for a reduced price on our website, link below. Or if you already have WooCommerce product options, then you can upgrade your license to include Live Preview from your account page on our website. Of course, the main product options plugin does way more than just image uploads. It can create more than a dozen types of custom fields for products, allowing for massive customization freedom. So now I'd like to show you how to set this up on your own website. If you're installing the plugin for the first time, go to plugins, add new and click upload plugin. Drop the zip file in this box here and install it on your site. You'll need to activate the plugin with your license key, which can be done on the settings page by navigating to products and product options, or in the setup wizard, which should launch on your first installation. If you own a license for live preview as well, then it'll automatically be installed at this stage as it works like an add-on for product options. After setting up the two plugins, we can now add an image upload field, which we can apply to any product. So let's see how to do that. So let's go to products and click on product options. And here we can see a list of all of our option groups that we have. And I'm gonna add a new group to show you how to do this. I'll give it a name, we'll call it image upload. And then you can set the visibility to display globally on all products, or you can show on specific categories or products. For example, here I could display it on hoodies. Then scroll down to the bottom and you can click on add option. Give this option a name, we'll call it file upload. And we can either display or choose to hide this name from our shoppers. Click on the file upload option. And we'll give it a label. You can add a price to this, like a flat fee, for example, an extra $10. Or you can just make it free. Now here is where we get the addition of the live preview. So for this image upload field, we want to enable live preview and the preview button can say customize or it can say anything else we like. Now there's a little label here telling us to set a printable area for the product image and we'll be getting to that later on in the video. You can also write a description to provide more details for your customers. And if you want this to be something that all customers should do, before purchasing, you can set it as a required field. Now click on save changes, and then we'll take a look at the advanced settings. So click on edit, scroll down, all the way to the bottom, advanced settings, and you can set a maximum file size. If you write 10, then that will limit the image file to 10 megabytes. You can also set a maximum number of files. So this will limit whether customers can upload multiple images or not. So in this case, I'm gonna set the number to two. And here we can set the allowed file types. You can scroll through and see there are a lot available, but if you don't want to accept anything except for images, then you can also remove these ones. There we go. Now let's save these changes. 
go back to the options group, scroll down to the bottom, and you can see that our new image upload has been added to the list and it's enabled on this particular custom printed hoodie product. So if we visit that product now, we can see that this is a variable product. We can choose the color from variation dropdowns. This is just default WooCommerce activity here. And then we can upload a file here into the file upload. Now I'll get back to this in a minute because I wanna talk about the printable area, but you can see that it's already working. It's got my image here and I can press apply. And that's showing the image on the hoodie. You can also make the upload field conditional. In other words, it'll only pop up and display for customers in certain situations. Let's say you want to sell your plain items, like a plain t-shirt but you can create a customization option that when selected by the customer shows them all of the image upload and other customization options available. This can be done in the advanced settings of any option group. Just set up the logic so it will appear when the customization box is selected, as in this example. Now we also need to set up the live preview for this product, specifically the printable areas. And to do that, we need to go back to our WordPress dashboard and click on media and go to our library. Then we'll click on one of the images that we want to modify. And you can see this one already has a printable area showing. So you can either add or edit the printable area with the button down here. And there's plenty of options. So you can add a circle, for example, resize that circle. Maybe you want to put a circle here and a rectangle here. Then there's two printable areas. And then this option here allows you to build out a custom shape. If you want to delete a polygon, you can just select it and click delete from your keyboard. And you can see the exact dimensions and position down here in the corner. Now there are also some checkboxes for the image options. You can allow only one image per area if you prefer that. You can disable moving or resizing when the customer uploads their image. Although I wouldn't necessarily recommend this except in very specific use cases. So you can check this box to use the same principal area for all of the variation images that are within this product. Now I've just switched to a different image to help me illustrate this next setting called product option. So let's say you want to add a front and a back printable area to a t-shirt and you've uploaded two separate images for each of those printable areas. Well, what you need to do is create two different upload fields. So this here is the front design and I've created a file upload field. And similarly, I've created one for the back design. Then in the printable area, you'll click here and scroll down until you find that specific upload field. So t-shirt front and back, we want the t-shirt front design for this image. Click on apply. And for the back of the image, we'll click on t-shirt back design. And let me show you how that looks for the customer on the front end. So when the customer has uploaded a design for the front of the t-shirt, it will show up here. They can click on apply. And if they upload a separate design for the back of the t-shirt, it'll look like this. And when they browse through the images, they can see the different previews for the different parts of the t-shirt. Now we can visit the product page and see how our image upload field works. I've just refreshed the page. And you can see I've selected the color blue. I'm gonna upload a different file here. And this just gives us a little preview. Show a printable area, we'll go apply. And then I can either hit this little edit button here, customize, or I can click on edit image. And then this is going to allow me to rotate it, move it up or down within the printable area. And if I go like this, it'll just crop the image. So I just have to be careful to put it back in the middle here. Click on apply. And this is what my hoodie in theory will look like after printed. This is just a preview. 
it's not actually what the, will be sent to the store's printer, obviously, but it does give the vendor and the customer a really good idea of what the customer is asking for. And then when I click on Add to Cart, you can see it's been added to my cart. If I go View, in the cart, it will show a preview of what the customer has ordered. Then after a buyer completes their order, the store owner will receive an email with a link to the image that they uploaded. The link will also be available in the Orders tab of your WordPress dashboard. Make sure to test everything out, and if you do need some help, be sure to reach out to our amazing support team. I've left a link in the description below just in case you need to get in touch. So I hope you enjoy using product options along with live preview on your WooCommerce store. To test out a demo of the plugin, you can click on this link here. Or to learn more about product options, check out this video next. And of course, thanks for watching.